here we have a teddy bear relief 4000 by 4000 pixels on a 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter sheet I'm going to take a look at the 3D or create machine relief toolpath. I'm going to start by machining the whole relief. We're going to use a roughing tool of 12 millimeters. And we're going to use a finishing tool. Because it's quite detailed, we're going to choose a one and a half millimeter ball nose tool. And change the step down to four millimeters on the end mill tool. We've allowed it to leave a allowance of 0.5 millimeter for the actual ball nose tool to finish off. It's told me that it's going to do it in eight slices. And it also tells me that that's over a 29 millimeter block. Now I'm going to do this over a 40 millimeter deep block. And I'm going to set this two millimeters off the bottom. And then it's changed my number of slices to 10 slices of each slice thickness being roughly 3.71 millimeters thick. So I'm now going to calculate this toolpath. So just before I calculate this, I'm opening the task manager process bar. We're going to take a look at what happens when we calculate this. So as this is calculating, we can see that my computer's got eight cores. And we can see all of those cores are actually running. So ArtCam or machine relief tool is multi-threaded. It's allowing all of my cores to be used. I'm running with 2.87 gig of memory, so I'm really using the processor and the memory to the maximum capability to create my design. It's now finished calculating, so it dropped from 56 down to 12% there. So I can close that down. We can see my toolpath has been calculated quite quickly.